quasi-linear preferences. When u, the utility of two goods, can be simplified as utility of one good plus the amount of the second good. So in essence, you can say it's linear in one of the goods. It's linear in x2. This logic when one good has linear component to calculate the utility for overall two good structure, we call that as quasi-linear preferences. And you might wonder that this is kind of a bit unusual to have this kind of a utility structure. But yes, there are some useful analysis which can be done on this. And if I can give you an example, if I let's say give v x1 as root x1, and x2 as x2. This is one example of quasi-linear. Then I can also have ln x1 plus x2. So these two are examples of quasi-linear utility functions. Now, obviously the underlying preference is quasi-linear preferences, but the utility for that preference is quasi-linear utility. Now, there is a way to interpret this as well. Let's say I label some IC indifference curve as 10. It means that I can just rearrange this and say x2 is equal to 10 minus vx1. Now I can change this label from 10 to maybe like 9. So then my x2 will be 9 minus vx1. If you can look at these two equations, you will have an understanding that the only difference between these two is the 10 and 9. So x2 will just have a gap which is represented by this 10 and 9, which means 10 minus 9, 1, which means that all the indifference curves, my drawing is a bit bad, but you get the drift, has a constant difference of the amount of difference between these two guys. Let's say I make it k1 and make it k2. So the difference is k1 minus k2. So the difference between two ICs, two indifference curves, which are representing utility functions or underlying preferences will be essentially k1 minus k2 or 10 minus 9 if those are your k1 and k2. So you can say that the ICs or indifference curves are just parallelly shifted if I change this value of k.